Hello and welcome to my channel Pick Up Gems. In today's video, I am going to share my sewing tutorial how I made this beautiful, elegant, simple and stylish dress with side pockets and draw strings belt. I will guide you step by step how I made this. Initially, I forgot to add pockets, side pockets. However, I managed to add side pockets and I will share how I did it. And before we dive into our video, please make sure you share, like, subscribe uh, my channel and press bell icon so you can get future video notifications. So let's dive into our video step by step guidance how I made this stylish dress. You can use the fabric of your choice. I am using cotton jersey fabric is a one meter of wide area fabric. So you need measuring tape, interfacing fabric. This fabric has a stretch so um, and it is a um, you know, cotton mix. That's why I am using interfacing around the neckline and total length I'm taking 42 by width is 25. So neckline um, I'm taking three inches and I'm going to make a curve small curve I'm going to make and for the shoulders I will be going diagonal about one inch and then mark one inch and then cut diagonal it's really simple cutting and only it takes little time to stitch but I finish this in one and a half hour so um, if you know what you are doing then you can easily make this dress and is ready to wear so from shoulder I am marking from 16 inches here I will be making my belt I will be making a drawstring casing here so from shoulder down 16 inches I marked and I'm using fabric chalk so they can wash easily and other side of the fabric I am marking as well so we can uh, uh, place our belt straight on these marks and I will be doing same at the back of the dress as well we don't need to do shoulder um, sleeves separate because I'm making uh, dolman sleeves now I am marking from the shoulder 10 inches and I'm going to use my French curve ruler and I'm making it slightly curved so we don't need separate shoulder placing so simply these are shoulders are um, uh, coming over um, basically these sleeves are coming over your shoulder and I'm going to cut this so you can see and make sure your uh, bust measurement your waist measurement is in place and it dress should not be very tight and it shouldn't be very loose as well so I'm just getting this curved using my French curve ruler which I marked now I'm separating these two sleeves pieces so that's our uh, dress and all we need to do we need to add our belt casing for the belt prepare belt and that's it and I am going to add so two side pockets so first of all I am starting by making neckline for the neckline lining I uh, I place this um, uh, fabric and according to my choice I am making its neckline first is a back one back side and then I will be make it deeper for the front uh, for the front side of the dress the so front side of the dress is always deeper so this is your choice you can make make a round neck v neck or square it's totally up to you i'm just simply making a round neck and i'm marking two two inches all around so this lining this is the lining for my front neckline and i'm going to add um, interfacing fabric because uh, I want a slight stiffness because the cotton jersey fabric and is not viscous in nature so I am I want little stiffness around the neckline so that's what I am doing is iron on fabric so keep watching 
uh, this dress is lovely and really really comfortable Now simply place this fabric first and then uh, interfacing fabric on the top and make sure this uh, uh, iron on uh, side is facing toward you because after sewing this will be sticking with the fabric and I have uh, uh, attached uh, my neck lining on the both side and I'm giving slight cuts so I can easily curve. Now I am I uh, going to iron it. So it will be giving a shape, proper shape to my neckline. Now my front neckline is ready and I'm going to attach it with the back side. So um, this is how I'm attaching the neckline. This is a lining of the back is overlapping the front one. And then I'm going to sew the side in the same way. Now I have stitched this. And look how neatly our neckline been done on another side as well like this so our neckline is ready and it is a time to add our um, uh, casing for uh, front belt for the drawstring so what I'm doing I am making the front uh, both side equal and make mark make sure that I am marking in the center where I will be leaving the opening for this drawstring. Our neckline is in the center and I where you want to place the mark just place it on both sides so you know this is where your casing is going to start and going to end. So uh, this is from the shoulder down to 16 inches. So where I have marked our, my line I am start placing this um, um, casing from here and the casing width I am using is a one and a half inches so all around I will be placing it like this and all the uh, on a, any extra fabric I will cut and I'm fixing it with the pins all around on the mark and now I am cutting the extra fabric and I will be folding it so uh, leave for the folding about one centimeter extra so that I will fold. Now I have a casing on one side and take it under sewing machine. Remove the extra um, bulkiness on, the, on your sewing machine so your uh, dress can easily go underneath just like I am doing. So because we have to stitch all around this uh, dress so it will be easy to sew. So I'm making sure that you can see so backstitch and I'm start sewing I'm using a straight stitch and simply I will stitch one uh, side first and then I will be folding it outward now I have finished sewing one side of the belt and this is how it looks like and now I am folding it outward so it will be in the shape of a casing so our belt will easily pass through now I'm folding it about one centimeter inside and now I'm going to fix it with the pins again so I can take it under sewing machine easily I'm fixing it again and then I will stitch other side of the casing as well. Mm -hmm. 
now i am going to prepare the belt for the belt i am again using one and a half inches i'm folding in this manner to side from both side so as thin as possible i could uh, stitch because it um, just make sure that you casing is um, uh, your belt is passing through your casing easily so is not any accurate uh, measurement you can choose a measurement of your choice you can use the rod as well you can buy from the uh, from shop but i will prefer to this belt from the fabric so just make sure these both part folded and then keep sewing and our belt will be ready so our belt is ready and i'm going to add in my um, dress now so this loop turner set i bought from amazon is really handy and i will add the link if you want to buy these um, uh, these loop turners it has a different um, um, this different sizes loops you can use for the different reasons and a really good sewing tool to have so i am adding this drawstring in my dress and that's it this drawstring and casing part has done and at this stage i will um, i will mention that i absolutely forgot to add pockets um before sewing the sides so what i have to do i would like to add pockets in this dress so i am going to open the sides where i have to add pockets because i totally forgot that i have to add po pockets so i'm using my um, needle uh, thread pucker and i will pick up the picker and i will pick up these threads and open the area where i place want to place uh, pockets so uh, this area is about four or five inches because our hand can easily pass through we don't need really big area so i just pull some thread out so i can add pockets so on both side i marked it so where which area i want to open these threads and now after opening these areas i am going to cut pockets so i'll make a space where i want to place my pockets and i have some fabric and i will be measuring my hand and place this fabric on the on the side of the pocket so we basically need two pieces for each pocket so this is a double fabric i will measuring my hand i will be measuring little loose so we can uh, leave some seam allowance as well so according to the size of uh, my hand i am just going to give this uh, fabric a shape wide enough so my can my hand can pass through and i can leave some sewing allowance as well so these pieces these pieces i'm cutting these are two pieces this is two pieces from one side of the pocket and i will check and yeah so from the front side i will start sewing here this is a, a, a one side is a right side pocket and the left side pocket direction will be different so i will be cutting different uh, another pocket as well and i will mark where i have to stitch so in this case when you forgot to add pocket you make sure that you cut your pocket side according to the shape of your dress exactly as uh, the stitching is coming so you do not miss anything so i'm cutting another set of pocket but that was great that i have just one meter of fabric i bought and i was able to make this dress it was quite nice and wide area fabric but only this pocket i use uh, i'm using separate uh, fabric but rest of the fabric i use uh, in uh, one meter i bought so now this is our pockets are ready i'm going to attach one on either side and then we will attach them together one on the right side one on the 
left side as you can see I am uh, um, fixing it from the right side mean correct side of the fabric because this pocket will go in so I have attached two sides of the pocket from the correct side of the dress and then I will be stitching all around I was planning to make uh, these pockets before but I just totally forgot so anyway you will learn something new in this way now I'm going to take under the sewing machine and I will start sewing so I'm making sure these uh, uh, both pockets matching either, uh, each other and pin it up and then I will start sewing. Backstitch, always do backstitch so it will make your stitch strong and then go all around your pocket. So this is one side I have attached and this is another one I'm going to attach now I have two sides of the pockets attached and I am now closing the gap which I have open on my dress then now I'm going to stitch all around the pocket So now our pocket is ready and I have stitched the side of the dress which I open and on the other side as well so both pockets are ready hope you enjoy this video and learn something new thank you so much for watching sharing liking and subscribing my channel and I will see you all in my another video bye